it's a getaway day, and before I go, I want to get into the brook and try to do a little fishing. My trips up here always seem too short. I only managed to be up here for three days this time, and I went out and did a little bass fishing yesterday, but I got to get some brook trout fishing in. Be my annual trip down the river. I'm kind of excited for it because I love catching those wild brook trout. They're my favorite on the earth. I bought this beautiful fly box specifically for the brook. My favorite pattern is definitely the Elk Hair Caddis for here. Well, I climbed way up this brook, and basically, this is the end. I went around, and it just flattens out, and it's all scrub brush before it gets into the swamp. So, I'm gonna go back down. Well, I just came out of fishing the brook, and I own quite a bit of this brook, and it seems like it's been an abject disaster. There's been a lot of things going on up here with like logging and stuff like that, and I feel like it might have you know, interfered with the brook and the reproduction of the fish and stuff like that. And also I saw that fisher in there. Maybe the fisher's cleaning out the brook. I never really thought much of fishers being, you know, fishermen, but I mean, maybe that's why they got their name. I never really thought much about it, but it's not really good situation in my brook right now because I'd be able to fish the same stretch I fished today five years ago and be able to catch 25 to 50 fish, you know, even with low water like it is today. And I had like one on, it hit twice, that was it. This is not really good and I'm pretty upset about this. So, I don't know, maybe next year it'll be better. But I'm gonna see what I can do to try to improve the situation in this brook. Because these fish are actually special to the state of Maine because they're actually true heritage drain brook trout, even though like there's plenty of brook trout streams that are wild here, but they're not like this brook because this brook has a waterfall at the end that stopped the migration of brook trout from other areas and that they've stocked and stuff from interbreeding with these fish. So they're very special and, and especially to me because I fished this ever since I was five years old. And 
I'd come down here by myself when I was five and have a good time catching them, you know. And it's just like, I'm, I'm unhappy because last year I fished this brook for about, you know, I fished it for a couple hours and I only caught one, I think. Maybe I caught two. And this year I, you know, I went out and I didn't catch anything. And I usually like to only fish this brook one time a year. That's it, because I want to keep the pressure down on these fish. I want to keep them dumb and wild. I think I might make an exception to my normal rule of fishing it once a year and try again next week to see if there's anything better going on. Uh, well, it's probably not next week, probably about two weeks away that I'll try to fish it. But it's, it's upsetting to me. I've, I'm really not happy.